I had it fall, I would have washed it earlier before it is cut. But since I've purchased this small portion, I'm not a fan of cabbages as much. Just to do the smaller portion. You're gonna work with this, so I have to wash it and let it drain. Get rid of the excess water so that we can steam it with some carrots to give it color. I don't like them to cut with tomatoes or tomatoes. So we wash our carrot that we are going to grate and just to steam the cabbages. I prefer them cabbages steamed with carrots so your shirt is well washed like I'm doing with some coriander. There's no Kenyan meal without coriander. So here is our grated carrot. Yeah. And our cabbage is there. I, yeah, the water has already drained to some extent. We needed it drained, so so next we're going to steam them. Next, we add a little bit of oil to steam our cabbage. Our onions. Onions and let them cook for a while. Meanwhile, as the tomatoes cook, as the onions cook, let's prepare our mushrooms because they are part of the meal tonight. We have two meals to prepare that is, mushrooms, wash them get them ready too as the onions cook. Multitasking is a must. You can check my previous video on their preparation for proper procedure. And I allow them to cook too golden brown today. So I'm going to add in our cabbage. Something for salt. According to your taste and preference, add in our steamed our grated carrots and stir. As I stated earlier, I prefer my carriages with carrots other than tomatoes so we let it steam for a while mm -hmm. 
can give some add some drops of coconut milk. I love coconut cream. Yeah. To give it taste. Stir. coriander stir as well and if you have an egg you can as well add an egg in here yeah you can add, add an egg in here and some soy sauce if you're a fan to make it even more delicious so we don't want it to overcook it's ready as you can this is our steamed cabbage ready that's how it looks I see I'm so we cut uh, mushrooms into halves Add our oil. Add our oil. And switch it on. You don't add any water. Water. Just let it cook with its own water. This you can refer to my previous videos and learn more how to prepare. So, after adding the onions, add a pinch of salt. and let it cook until the water mushroom generates its own water you can see you don't need to add any amount of water because that one it will overcook so you just wash it cut them into halves add your tomatoes i mean add your onions um, and oil and salt and let it cook until the water drains then we will add our pepper and some coconut milk as well because we want to make them creamy button mushrooms and you can search for that on my channel and watch the whole procedure on how you're supposed to make them or how you are supposed to go about it so our water is drained as you can see very very really well drained we are going to add our milk coconut cream We are adding our coconut cream. Remember, we are making a button mushroom. Creamy button mushroom. So we add our cream.
so that's ready very ready as you can see first of all we have our cabbages mushrooms and next is rice we're going to prepare our rice and we are done with the cooking I the time that let water come to boil, then you add your rice or you cook it my style my style. If me I don't wait for the water to boil. I just put my ingredients and add my cold water and then let it cook. Nothing like heating the water but when it comes to boil. So I add my salt. After adding my salt. I add my grated carrot. I measured my rice using this glass. Uh, I measured two and a half glasses of rice, so that it uh, translates to five glasses of water for it to cook well. And do you always measure water when cooking your rice? So you just add any amount. May I measure for accuracy? So two glasses of water for one glass of rice. So that's for one. Just use cold water when cooking. Yeah, but if I have cold water as well, I can use no restrictions. Both cold and hot work well for me. So we give it time to cook. I'll be back when our rice is fully cooked and show you the final products that we have prepared for today. And that's our final product. The rice is finally ready. Now let me serve and show you the final product of whatever we've prepared today. So this is how our meal looks like. Our rice, cabbage, and mushrooms are all ready. Yeah, thanks for keeping me company. Now this is the end of our video. I even started eating. You can see some portions are already gone. <laughs> so until next time, bye.